You knew. You knew what he was doing to me. He left this bed every night. And you didn't do anything. He's a monster. You're my mother. You're supposed to protect me. My, my name is Jennifer Giroux. I I work for the FBI as a communications liaison for the the behavioral. Uh, okay, Mr. Flynn, I I I want to talk to you about letting Ellie Spicer go. I mean, I, I want to ask you to uh, see. I'm not a hostage negotiator. Uh, I've never done anything like this at all ever. But um, sometimes circumstances, it's. Look, you can tell I'm not a hostage negotiator, but I am a mother, and I, I know what your mother did to you when you were little, what she was, what she made you watch, what she let men do to you, and it makes me so, it's just not fair. And no one, no one can make that better. I, I wish I could, I do, but if I, if I could somehow go back there and, you know, make what was happening to you stop, I could just, you know, pick you up and just tell you that I'll, I'll be okay. That's what moms are supposed to do. They're not supposed to be the cause of your pain. They're supposed to make it go away. They're supposed to hold you and and tell you everything is going to be all right. They're supposed to tell you that thunder is angels bowling and that it's okay to be afraid of the dark and that it's, it's not silly to think there might be monsters in your closet and that it's okay that if you want to climb into bed with them just this once because it's scary in the room all alone. They're supposed to say it's okay to be afraid and not be the thing you're afraid of. But most importantly, they're supposed to love you, no matter what. What happened to you isn't fair, it, it, it's not right, but, um... I'm supposed to empathize with you. <laughs> Sympathize. Understand. But I can't. Uh, that, that would be a lie. The truth is, I don't understand what you've done. I, I don't sympathize with you killing people all these years. And I especially don't understand you taking Ellie. What I can do is tell you what a mother should tell you, that you can't take away your pain by hurting someone else, that it doesn't make all the nights you went to bed scared and alone any better if you scare someone else the way you're scaring Ellie. What happened to you? It isn't fair, but what you're doing to her isn't fair either. And if anyone should understand what that feels like, it's you. You have the power. You can do what you want to do. But for once, you can choose to use that power to do for Ellie what should have been done for you. You can choose letting her go. You can choose teaching her that, yes, there are monsters and it's okay to be afraid of them, but it's not okay to let them win. And it's not okay to be alone.